Welcome back to the Princeton Tigers. Today we are taking on Kent, Kent State, how do you want to say it? They're 6 and 4, 4 and 2 in the MAC, B minus, C plus, B minus. Pretty solid team here, going to have a pretty good defense. Offense will be all right, but not too good. So uh they're looking pretty tough. Kirk is picking them. They have 13 prospects to his name, which means this is probably their last home game of the year. You can go ahead and check their schedule. So they beat Virginia. So that's a Power 5 team they beat. They lost to South Alabama. Lost to Arkansas State. Pretty dang good. They beat Buffalo really bad. Lost to NIU. We beat them. Lost, they beat Army. They lost to Ball State. Which everybody does apparently in the MAC. Beat Miami University, beat Western Michigan, and beat Akron. So, here, this is going to be a pretty tough game. Yeah, they should have had Bowling Green State as their last game. That sucks. Um, so, looking like a pretty tough game. Hopefully, we can win, though. Let's load right in. Here we, guys. Here we are, guys. It's a snowy day in Dick Stadium. This might be our first ever snow game. I don't know. I think it might be, though. So, a coin toss. We lose the coin toss. Kent State will kick, so we will get the ball first. First and ten. Here we are. Handed it off to Phillips. Getting a few there for second and six. Second and six. We got slants. They're bringing a blitz. I don't like it, so I'm doing slants here. So, second and six. Tied in Alex Walter wide open, but Quinn Apple, of course, throws it way behind him. Third and six. All right, guys, third and six. Got Costello open, and Quinn Apple misses him, too. So misses two wide open passes. It's going to lead to a fourth down. Not even my fault. Fourth and six. Get it. Oh, dang. We almost got that. Not a bad punt by Tyler Roth. He almost recovered it, too. First and ten. Gonna run it to the left, just like I knew they would. They have a good left guard, 89 overall. And he's gonna take it to the house on one play. Definitely a cheese game here, guys. Ah, scored a touchdown on one play. Hate to see it. Xavier Williams takes it 66 yards. Giving an easy touchdown. They're taking this lead early, 7-0. Alright, guys, we had a pretty decent return by Will Powers, but it got called back for clipping. It's gonna be first and 10. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man, X wide open. Quinn Apple just cannot throw anything right now. We literally can't even throw the football because Quinn Apple can't throw anything right now. So maybe we can do some read option. Not bad there. Gets 10 yards, third and inches. Third and inches here. For Epperly. He's getting the first down. Let's go. Kind of a weird play here. We don't line up. It's kind of a, uh, actually this is, um, Wildcat here. And we get sacked. They had played man coverage, of course they did. Second and 19. Second and 19. Risky pass, but should have been picked. Jelen just almost catches it. Third and 19. Third and 19 here. Perfect pass. Just did not get the enough yardage. Fourth and inches. I'm going to go for this, guys. Hurry up here. Feeling kind of risky. Got to go for this anyway. It's almost in midfield, too. Fourth inches here. They bring a good blitz. Did not get to Epperly in time, though. Let's go. First down. First cut paid off there. Second and ten. Oh, I get sacked. Didn't have enough time. I was looking for why. Shouldn't have waited that long. Third and 21. It's like we finally met our match, guys. This team is pretty dang good. Third and ten. RB Christian Phillips does not catch the football. Quinn Epley one for seven. 19 yards. Fourth and 21. Alright, guys, first and 10, Kent State. They had a pretty good return. They have clipping, though, too. And they get freaking 26 yards on the first play as our defense is not able to do anything. Stop down this, stop this offense, this C offense. It's going to be a long day, guys, I'm afraid. These guys have our number. 
They are ready to play ice. He's taking off. Nobody's there. Get him. First and ten, though. First and ten. Quick slants. It's a first down. First and ten here, guys. Bring a blitz. Does not matter. He's just going to break two tackles and get in the end zone. Touchdown, Kent State. Ten yard rush. Easy as, easy, easy as, like that. It's so easy. Easy as that. Alright, guys. First and ten here. Down 14 to zero in the first quarter still. It's not looking good. Got RB wide open. Throws it to Costello. Gets a first down. Let's go. First and ten here. Trying to move the football. Get the play to our stars. That's probably picked. No, it's not. It's a perfect pass to Grady. And we are going to get a touchdown. Let's go. That's what we needed up there. Big play like that. Grady just gets past the defense. It's too easy for him. He's too fast for these Mac cornerbacks. Just gets past him. Quentin Apley throws a perfect ball. Finally. Let's go. All right, guys. First and ten. We're going to have to stop their offense somehow. It's a screen pass. Garrett Lee is out there, just completely misses, and that's probably a touchdown because he's just going to break tackles. Brooks three tackles on conservative. By the way, I will. Kid you not. First and ten. First and ten here to run. Anthony Gaffney all over, but he somehow breaks through there. He's still going. It's a first down. It's a touchdown. It's a touchdown, guys. This running back has broken so many tackles. I don't understand this. It's on conservative. What am I supposed to do? What should have been a TFL ends up being a touchdown. <sighs> Dang. I guess first and 10. We've, they've scored 21 points in the first quarter. Man. We're not used to being down like this. Christian Phillips gets the first down. Let's go. First and 10. Run again. Phillips getting 7 this time. Second and 3. Second and three here, guys. See if I can get a get a glitch play. Get got out of it. Christian Phillips wide open. Nobody even close to him. Gonna get a good play there. 25 yards, taking us to the second quarter. All right, guys. Second and 13. Wide open. Costello. He's a big speed burst there. Should have been a touchdown. They robbed him of one there. That should have been his touchdown. It's first and goal. Try to give Costello his touchdown, guys. There it is. Touch. And he didn't catch it, of course. Second and goal. Easy touchdown for Princeton. Let's go. Matt Costello got us a big play on the drive. Quinn, I mean, Quinn, I put Christian Phillips, too. Make it 21-14. Defense going to have to come up with a stop. All right, guys. First and 10. I'm going to man up on this running back. So they just keep handing it off to him. And it should have been Cody White. But our four-star cornerback can't catch the ball, so. Second and 10. They run play action here, guys. That's very smart. Kudos to them. They freaking pass the football. I told you they would. First and ten. I guess first and ten. So run to the left here. Did not get out there. Garrett Leet did. This is the glitchiest running back I've ever seen before. 13 yard rush, first and ten. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that. Four rushes. 133 yards and three touchdowns. This guy's literally destroying us. Please tackle him. Nope. Get there. Second and four. Second and four here, guys. Okay, they're just feeding him now. They're just running him to. They're just putting everybody in the middle and running him outside. First and ten. First and ten. It's play action. He's got a man wide open. Breaks a tackle. So first and ten. That's, uh, this is the stupidest formation. They have a full back on the field. They're going hurry up. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know how he even caught that in the snow like this. Second and one. Second and one. It's a run. Read, read option. It's probably a touchdown. And it is. Another rush touchdown for Kent State. This time it's the quarterback on a 17 yard rush. It's a 28 14. Ooh. Mistake number one, kicking it off to Grady Leatherwood. That's a big mistake. He shouldn't have done that. He's gone. Let's go. They kick the first time they kick it off, though. So he runs it back. And this guy is something special. He's a freshman too.
He is a freshman, man. He is so special for this team. He's the best player in this team. Great play there, guys. Make it 28-21 in the second quarter. I don't know how we're going to we're gonna stop them, guys. And I shifted left, and they go right. Man, what is my luck right now? Good tackle, Gaffney. First and 10. This guy's going to have 200 rushing yards at the end of this game. We sack him. He's looking for his running back, and we get him. Let's go. Second and 18. Come on, coverage. I'm trusting you here. You got to bring a blitz. Get him. Yes. Makes it third and 20. Let's go. Come on. Good job, Grayson Fisher. You're carrying us. Uh, he has two sacks. I think they're both on this drive. Third and 20. Garrett Leet. It's four verts. He's taking off. Throws it back. I don't know what that play was. Makes it fourth and 20. Let's go. He stopped him. Finally. It's a good time to run this play, guys. They're probably going to be ready for it, and they are. We got A wide. Oh, we had Y wide open for a touchdown. That's totally my fault, guys. I didn't see him. I'm so stupid. That was an easy touchdown. That's my bad, Costo. Let's see if we can get it again, maybe. We're lucky. Yep, they're ready for it this time. We got Phillips, but did not get it off before I got sacked. Second and 14. Second and 24 here. Got good coverage. I'm going to take off with Epperly. Not ready for this. Getting back those yards and more. Third and five. I'm actually going to run the football, guys. I'm going to trust Christian Phillips. And it worked. Let's go. We barely got it. First and ten, though. First, I mean, second. First and ten, yeah. First and ten. Be wide open. It's Connor Kelly. Great catch. Just stay in bounds there. Makes it first and goal. Let's go. First and goal. Hand off to Phillips. Does not get in the end zone. That's annoying. You guys said this was a setup, so I'm going to trust the game. And it did not work, of course. That's why you never trust setups. Press third and goal. It's a long two yards. I'm going to trust Christian Phillips and crew. And we easily get in the end zone. Late hit there. Tying this ball game up at 28 going into halftime. Started uh, down early, but we came back. Let's go. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that, is our fi that was our 50th touchdown of the, of the season. So that's, that's uh, nice. That's cool. Like they're gonna run it, and they do. Garrett lead all over it. Trips him. He breaks through it. Breaks through another one, and he's gone. Just like that, guys. Breaks two tackles he shouldn't have. And he's gonna run it in for this time for 67 yards. He's got four touchdowns in the day. Probably over 200 rushing yards at this point. This guy's tearing us up. Shouldn't have broken those tackles, but you know this game's loving him right now. That makes it 35-28. Guys, definitely getting cheesed out of this game, but we're still fighting. We're still fighting here. First and ten. Almost gets sacked. Get it to White though for a first down. Let's go. Good little play there. Maybe we can get Grady here. Don't know. Got RB. That's risky. Matt Costello's there. Had to reach up for it. Makes it first and ten though. Great pass. Great catch. Let's go. First and ten here. Good block. Ooh, that probably takes a pretty good hit there. Second and three. Second and three here. Phillips, great block there. It's going to be a touchdown. Let's go. That was a good play there. One expecting a touchdown, but we got a 35 all on the third quarter. All right, guys, first and 10. They are t currently tearing us up, so hopefully we can uh, stop them from doing that. He's just going to take off. We're all over it. Let's go. We're on a five yard rush, second and five. Weird play here. He's going to take off. Just stiff arms my line linebacker. This is literally a quarterback, guys. It's first and 10, 15 yards there. First and 10. Could be a screen pass here. And it is. I'm all over it. He's just going to take off. And he has blockers. This might need to knock the crap out of his QB. First and 10. I right, guess first and 10. We got Ian McGregory on the spy. It's a run. We're all over it. Let's go. Finally stopped. This is a quarterback. No, this running back short. Nine rushes, 235 yards, four touchdowns. This is his first TFL of the game right there. Guys, this is the best running back in college football right here. This guy is, uh, obviously, I mean, 
He might have gets 235 yards on a team and four touchdowns. He's literally insane. Third and four, though, will be a chance for a stop. Bring in pressure. They're going to run the football. We have, we blitz, and they still... Look at this. Look at these blocks they have, guys. I mean, they're just cheesing us out of this game. It's first and ten. Let's go. We get sacked, guys. I've never allowed a running back more than 200 yards in, in a game before, guys. Like, this is just completely new to me. And, you know, and I've been playing NCAA football for... Like two, three years almost now. And see if football 14. I've never allowed a running back get more than 200 yards against me. That's crazy. We bring a blitz. It's a touchdown. He broke the tackle. I don't know how he broke that tackle. 42 points. Guys, this is a very solid team. 42-35. Alright guys, first and 10 here. Trying to stay in the game. Picked <laughs> off. First play. It's going downhill. I thought he was open. I thought I could get it to him, but obviously not. The guy's just going to sit there. Should have thrown it to X instead. It's my fault. Guys, we literally just can't keep up with this team. They just <laughs> break one tackle after another. There's nothing I can do about it. See this throw it to wide open guy. Breaks the tackle. This is on conservative, by the way. I kid you not. I'm tackling on conservative, too. There's nothing else I can do. I'm, I'm, we're just getting plain cheese out of this game. And that's what happens when you get to the late season games. They start, the game starts cheesing you out of the games, literally. Breaks one tackle. Breaks two tackles on his way to the end zone. They score in two plays because he broke two tackles. They've scored 49 points. And it's not even the fourth quarter yet. Because this video is going to be over 30 minutes long, probably. <laughs> First and ten here. RB open. Costello but goes out of bounds. Uh, second four. If we score on this drive, guys, I'm going to try to slow the game down on my next drive. See if I can score on a slow drive. B open. Connor Kelly. First down. Second and ten. RB open. Dylan Jaffe. Get eight yards. Third and two. Guys, triple option here. Trying to get a first down. And we do not. They somehow stop that. I don't know how that's even possible. Makes it fourth and one. All right, guys. We obviously got to go for this. 78, 35, 53. Just got to block those linebackers. And they do. Comes off his block. That scared me, though. First and ten, though. All right, guys. I'm not going to be able to talk much in this drive. I'm sweating. Dude, what is that? Third and five. Why? Picked. Oh, what a pass. Oh, I almost caught that, though. Fourth and five. Fourth and five, guys, is not looking good at all. The RB, good play there. Dylan Jaffe still going. It's a lot of yards there. Probably about 15, first and 10. I right, guess first and 10 here. A hey, Alex Walter wide open in the end zone. Let's go. Good touchdown there. Good pass and catch. Makes it 49 42. Defense got to get a stop. Alright guys, if the defense does not score here, we're going to lose because of one turnover, guys. That's how close this game is. That is literally how close this game is. First and ten, they're tossing it out. Cody White cannot tackle him, but McGregory can. Second and four. I right, got second and four. He's taken off. Coat. Antoine Brown just completely misses him. I didn't know the words there. He literally just completely missed. I right, got second and ten. It's making me be a defensive lineman. That's not good. I knew that was gonna happen. Of course, they ran a freaking co freaking post route. One time not on him. The screen pass. Gaffney missed, but he tackles, and that's all the weirdest animation ever. Second and eight. I got second and eight. I'm gonna trust my linebacker to guard that tight end. So I gotta be Antoine Brown. He's not very good at coverage or wasting time. Okay. So they're playing it conservative. Interesting. All right, guys. Snapped it. They run a freaking slant run play. The weirdest play ever. He pushes him, and it's a touchdown. You gotta tackle him. It's on conservative. We're still pushing people around. I'm not trying to tackle him. Defense chokes. I knew they would. It's 56-42. It's first and ten. It's a good time to run this play. I'm gonna be looking for it too. Grady's out after that big return. 
And I got sacked. Frick. Of course I did. Second and 11. Second 21, my bad. Okay, second and 21. I don't have our best wide receiver on the field. Get to Isaiah Barnes. Makes it third, third and three. Nice, good play there. Third and three. Isaiah Barnes wide open again. That's Alex Walter this time. And he gets in the end zone. No, he does it. Dang. Makes it. Gets down to the one, though. First and goal. He can't go hurry up. Okay. I guess first and goal. Leatherwood back in the game. Let's go. Make a substitution. Hand off to Phillips. Does not get in the end zone somehow. I don't know how. That's some cheese right there. Second and goal. I guess second and goal. Given Christian Phillips' his fourth touchdown of the game here. It's great. School record there, too. Makes it 56 to 49 with a minute 41 on the clock. Alright guys, I just simulated the onside kick, see if we get lucky. Of course we didn't, so. Is it first and ten. Just gonna run out the clock, and that'll be the ball game, probably. If I had to guess. Second and one. Make play on aggressive, see if that'll make a difference. And that's the game. We lost, guys. Plain and simple. We lost. That guy had four touchdowns, 261 yards, seven yards. What a game by the running back, guys. That's all I can say. He completely destroyed us. So <sighs> We lost because of that one turnover, guys. One turnover in the game. We lost. That's how stupid this game was. That's how stupid this game was. All right, guys. Stats on the game. Quinn Appley. 17 for 27. 376 yards. Two touchdowns. Great game by him. He did have one pick. It cost us the game. Literally one turnover cost us the game. Um, rushing, not nothing much to see here. 13 for 39, but he did have four touchdowns, so you know that's pretty good. Uh, Epperly 10 for seven, and uh, Will Powers one for negative one. Receiving Matt Costello four for 86. Dale Jaffe four for 85. Alex Walter, 3 for 56. Connor Kelly, 2 for 35. Isaiah Barnes, 1 for 18. Dylan White, 1 for 11. Grady Leatherwood, 1 for 60 and a touchdown. And Christian Phillips, 1 for 25. Matter into 6 tackles, 5 solo. Cody White, 5 tackles. Smith, 5 3. And um, 5 tackles, 3 solo. Grayson Fisher, 4 and 3. Gaffney 4-4, four, four, Brown 4-4, four, four. Uh, Jacoby Johnson 2-2, two, two, and West Moon 2-2. Two, two. Assisted tackles, we'll never get any of these. Chris Smith had 2, Matt Rindis had 1, and Fisher had 1. TFL, Grace Fisher had 2, Antoine Brown had 1, and John Hummel had 1. Sacks, Grace Fisher with 2, and John Hummel with a uh, 1. New one deflection, Cody Wild, that shouldn't have been picked off for a pick six. <laughs> that would have we'd be in overtime right now if he would have done that. That's funny. So they get bailed out in their turnover and we don't. Sounds about right. Kick return great pretty good on the day. Not very Will Powers, not very good, but uh Great Leatherwood did a great job. And I just want to look at one more stat. Kent State side of the ball. So guys, here's their rushing stats. I mean, this guy is literally, he's 76 overall, guys. Their running back is 76 overall. And he just did, he had this game. He is 76 overall. I mean, I don't understand this game, guys. He's 76 overall. It's just that stupid cheese. Late game cheese. That's all it is. It's literally all it is, guys. 76 overall running back just tore us up that bad. He had six broken tackles. He had more than that, guys. They just, uh, it, it, they, damn, didn't count him, so. So, uh, that's kind of funny. 100, 199 yards after contact, guys. It's, it's broken tackles like crazy. Their quarterback had one broken tackle. The receiver doesn't show how many broken tackles they have, but they had their fair share, too. Total stats. They had one more first down. Offense, they had way more yards. They had way more rushing yard, not even close. We had way more passing yards. And we had one turnover, and we had more total yards because of our kick return yards. So we had more total yards and more time possession than him. Overall, 
not a great game by the Princeton Tigers. Offense did great. Defense did horrible. All right, guys, taking a quick look at recruiting. Not looking so hot right now. Lance Henderson, Rutgers had their visit. He did not commit, thank goodness. So that will be going to the off season. So let's go try to get him in the off season, maybe. Tony Yancey, Tony Yancey, uh, locked us out, but we're gonna go ahead and get back in, and we cannot. So Tony Yancey is actually gone. Hopefully, we don't need an outside linebacker. Let's see if we do. No, we do not. So sadly, guys, Tony Yancey will not be on the team. Could not use the unlaunching cheese for some reason. Don't know why that was that is the case. Spencer Burton not looking too good. Buffalo is their visit next week. He's gonna go ahead and commit off that probably, if I had to guess. Cam Hayes looking good. Nebraska had their visit already. Deron Clark, Nebraska had their visit. Still in the lead, let's go. Ronnie Neal looking really good. It's time to points to give these guys. It's no one. Alright guys, we'll sledge. Looking good. Looking really good. Jason Downey looking great. Connor Vickers looking good. Anton Ramirez looking good. Jonathan Merrick and Joe Marshall are going to give these guys uh, scholarships. We don't have insta commit, so it doesn't matter. But, you know, just in case they want to decide to commit. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give Shannon Walker some points. See if uh, maybe he wants to come to Princeton. Pretty good. He'll be a junior though, but you know, just step in in case we need him. Alright, guys, we do have a coaching upgrade, so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that on the closer so I can get a little bit more points to give these guys because actually, you know what? It might be better to give is this royal treatment, guys. Because that'll be an extra 100 points in the visit, so I'll go ahead and seal up the rest of our uh, recruits. So that would be nice, actually, to get. So I think that'll be a good upgrade to get. Alright, guys, conference standings. We are still um, in first place, guys, but Kent State is now in second. Bowling Green, guys, is in fourth. This is a st stacked East. Four grid good teams. Akron and Bowling Green are not going to get it. It's just going to be us or Kent State. We have to win our last game, guys. Kent State would have the tiebreaker. And they have to win. Who are they playing? They are playing Bowling Green State or Bowling Green. I don't know. I don't want to know what these teams are. Like, they're either. They're, I don't know. They had State. Sometimes, sometimes they don't. So, it's not, this is Bowling Green right there, but it says BGSU. It says Kent State right there, but, but then when they play them, it says Kent. So, it's like, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, we're hoping that Bowling Green wins that. If they don't, then we have to win. Basically, we have to we have to win our next game either way. If we want a hundred percent chance to get to the MAC, the championship. Looks like uh, Ball State will be going to the um, uh, the MAC ch championship. So, NIU beat Miami forty-one to three. Now Ball State just has to play uh, play them this week. They just got to win. That's all they got to do. If they lose, and it's a tie. 9-3, 6-2, and, three, six and two, both teams. Ball State will probably just get in because they're ahead right now. You know, NCAA works. Um, So, Ball State, we're definitely going to be going up against Ball State. It's either Ball State versus us or Ball State versus Kent State. Just got to win our next game. Got to. As right, finalists, we have a few finalists. We have one for the Bedneric, Garrett Leet. It's pretty high up, dude, for a freaking um, 60 overall linebacker. But he's good. He's good. He's uh, he's just as good as these guys. 99 overall linebacker. That's definitely not OP. Garrett Leet in second too for the uh, Nagruski. They just don't put him in first because he's 68 overall. That's messed up. As Garrett Lee is fourth in the country for best linebacker. Pretty good, pretty good. And Grady is ninth for best returner. So he has three touchdowns. That's ahead of everybody. Nobody's even close to that. It's kind of bull, honestly. The number one returner doesn't have a touchdown. 
949 kick return yards. That's like the most out of all. It's like tied at first because he doesn't have any punt return yards. That's the only reason. And he's a freshman too. So, all right, guys. Bowl projections. We are actually predicted to go to the Little Caesars Pizza Bowl. Never played in that one before, so that's interesting. We're going against Maryland, though. That's not fair. Maryland will destroy us probably. So uh, that's looking, looking, looking uh, not bad. Um, let's see here. Championship right now is Oregon versus Alabama. So that's uh, look, looks, looks fine there. All right, guys. Next week we are taking on Western Michigan. Six and five, three and four in the MAC. Looking pretty good, but we have six prospects visiting, so this is our visit week. So um, hopefully we can just uh do good on the visit, win the game, go eight eight and four, six and, I mean seven and one in the MAC, and uh just look it's looking good. So hopefully we can just get to the MAC championship for the first time, win win the MAC championship, go to a decent bowl maybe, finish up the year. All right, guys, if you enjoy the video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.